Hi there, my name is Justin Seitz and I'm the creator of Hunchly. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about using Hunchly as well as a tool called Multigo to do human trafficking investigations online. Now people all over the world are gonna tell you of course that human trafficking investigations are far more complex than just looking at online classified sites. But commonly, there's a lot of intelligence to be gathered from these sites, whether it's images or phone numbers or locations. There's a lot of things that you can do with this stuff. And Hunchly is really well suited for the evidence collection piece and for tracking the history of everything you've done. In particular, if you're focused on a geographic area, say Vancouver, British Columbia, as you're doing these investigations every day or you're viewing ads, Hunchly's keeping track of every page you've viewed, every ad that you've clicked on, the phone numbers, the images, and all of this so that you can actually reach backwards in time if an ad's been deleted or something's happened so that you can go backwards and do searches for names or phone numbers that you might have encountered at an earlier period uh, when you were doing an investigation. And this is really useful because information obviously does go missing online and people do delete things. So um, Hunch is gonna follow you around and keep a record of, of all these URLs and everything you've done. And that's really useful to you. Now, of course, as you can see, I've got a trafficking case set up here. And if we view the case, I have 56 pages viewed. I haven't done any searches or taken notes or tagged photos, all things that you can do in Hunchly. But one of the great things is obviously the history. And the history is very rich. So it's going to tell you when you visited a URL, what URL it was. And of course, we can go and view exactly what these pages looked like when we initially viewed them on that exact day. So you can see this is an exact copy um, that we're viewing directly out of the Hunchly Index. But one of the great things is the ability to actually export all this information and get it into other tools. For example, Maltigo. Now how we're gonna do this is actually use the full case export just by clicking on this button right there, full case. So what this is gonna do is actually bundle up all the pages and everything all together into one zip file. And this zip file can be backed up or you can send it to another investigator and they can import it into Hunchly for their own use. But one of the neat features that was released in the newest version of Hunchly, 1.1.7, is that it has a CSV file, a comma separated file you commonly would open in Excel that has the whole history of every URL and domain that you've visited. So if you've never exported a case before in Hunchly, you're going to notice that it's telling you this can take a minute or two. So you just want to refresh this page until you see this handy little export link here. Now what we can do is actually just crack open the zip file and have a quick little look. And we see this traffickinghistory.csv file. And this is going to be the CSV file that we're going to open up in Excel and we're going to pull out the URLs we visited and get them into Multigo. So let's do that now. Okay, so now we have our uh, trafficking history CSV file loaded into Excel. You can of course use Google Sheets or any number of other office tools to do this. And there's a few cool things that we can see here. So one is the domain. So we see the domain split out for every single page that we've seen. This is also useful if you want to run other tools that do who is lookups or other things. You can also bring these into Multigo itself. But the really interesting thing is by using the URL column. Now normally we would want to actually import this entire CSV directly into Multigo and use its powerful import feature to handle all of this but there's actually a bug in the current version of Multigo that doesn't properly handle URL. So we're just gonna use the tried and true copy and paste. So we're just gonna highlight the whole row so we can see we're just grabbing all of these URLs, very easy. You can also use shift and then click and it'll highlight all of them. And then we right click and say copy. So now we have all the URLs we visited, all 55 of them um, in our clipboard and we can switch to Multigo. So I'm using Multigo Classic 4.0.3. This is the newest version of Multigo at this time. And uh, I recommend that you use this version as well. Now, what you wanna do is we're just gonna go up to the Multigo menu here and we're gonna go new. And that's a, gonna give us a new graph. And so a graph is exactly how you work in Multigo. If you've never seen it before, you basically are allowed to kind of pull little objects in. So this is a tweet and then you can, you can run what's called transforms. And transforms are like commands. And you can say, well, we wanna pull alias or pull hashtags or do any kind of uh, specific work. So for a tweet, there's gonna be different commands than for a domain or for a URL. Now, all we have to do at this point is we can just click into our graph 
and use our keyboard and just say Control V, or if you're on a Mac like I am, you can go Apple V, and that's gonna paste in all the URLs. Now we see them all clustered together here in a group of 53, and we see these stragglers here. These stragglers are just images that we viewed directly in Hunchly, and we don't need those, so I just selected them and hit delete on my keyboard. Now with this group of URLs here, if we right click on it, we see that there are a number of transforms that we can run. Now, in human trafficking, of course, one thing that's really interesting are phone numbers. So what we can actually do is tell Maltigo, we want you to go and look for all the phone numbers found on all these URLs. So all 53 of these URLs, go out and find all the phone numbers contained. And so when we click on that, you're gonna see that it is doing a bunch of work. And we can see that it's extracting phone numbers out and it's actually drawing links between phone numbers and in this case using Backpage ads. So we can see all of these phone numbers are actually being extracted from these Backpage ads. Now this is not going to be bulletproof because we know that um, how these phone numbers are used of course uh, can be spelled out in, in letters and numbers using dots and dashes, but I found that that transform is pretty accurate. And now you can see our graph has got a lot more information. We have a whole bunch of ads, and we see that there are a number of phone numbers connected to these ads. Now, where it also gets interesting is, of course, that we see here's a clustering of Victoria, British Columbia ads, and it's pointing to this phone number here at 819. And then we see that in Kelowna, a different city a few hours away, that we also see that that phone number is being used. So we can see these links between the ads. Maltigo does this all on its own. And so that phone number might be of interest to us, that it's being shared amongst multiple cities, and you could begin to dig into that. So another cool thing that we can do now that we have a larger graph here, is we can actually select by type. So if you go into your Investigate tab in Maltigo in the top left, and we go over here to Select by Type, we can again select all of the URLs. Now, instead of us running um, a phone number search, what we can actually do is tell Maltigo to go out and get two images from URL. So what that's gonna do is actually extract all of the images from the URLs that we pass into it, and you can see that it's starting to extract them all and pull them out. Now, the first time you run this transform, it's gonna ask you for a minimum image size in kilobytes. That's something you're gonna to have to play with, but I think I set mine to, um, I believe, uh, 5K, so five kilobytes, so that kind of, uh, doesn't exclude a bunch of images that we want, but it's also not going to pull in a bunch of images that we don't need, like the back page um, logo, for example. So now we see that we have a whole bunch of images that are attached to ads, and we can see those images there, um, of course, that are related to the escorts that are, are offering services. So you could begin to explore all the images that are, uh, are being shown here. Now, another cool thing that you can do is, of course, trying to figure out which images may be shared between ads. And so what we can do is again use select by type, select images, and that's gonna select all the images. And I'm not gonna run this transform right now, but what you can do is right click on it and say to EXIF info. So what that's gonna do is actually try to extract the metadata from these images. And you will see that it'll start to build a graph where it is um, combining and, and, and showing links between the same image across multiple ads, for example. And so this can take a little bit of time as it begins to make those connections, um, but it's really interesting how that works. Now, an additional feature that Maltico has is our ability to select a clustering of nodes or even just one node in a graph and begin to explore that particular node a little more deeply as if it's its own graph. So what we can do is we can click on, for example, this clustering here, we'll take the ad, and then what we can do is actually go up here, again in the Investigate tab, and say Select Children, and that's gonna give us all of the child objects here. And if I hold down the Shift key, I can also reselect the main node there. And what we can do is we can right-click on it, and we can go down here at the very bottom of our Transform menu, you have a number of options here. And so what we can do is we can actually look at some of the things we have, and one of them, sorry, is change type, so we can change the types, we can merge, we can do a bunch of stuff, but what we wanna do is pick the, the one on the left-hand side that says copy to new graph. So now we have a new graph all on its own. You can see we have our old graph that's up here that has all of our data on it, and then we have a new graph where we've just pulled one ad out and we have some images and we have a phone number. Now, of course, now you can begin running some of the 
transforms on a particular phone number. So for example, sometimes it's useful to say, well, tell me where you've seen this phone number. And what Multico will do is actually reach out and try to search the uh, search uh, search engines looking for this particular phone number. Now, in this case, it didn't come back with anything, but one trick that I found with phone numbers is we can see that it's got plus one and then the phone number itself. And in a lot of cases, obviously, people don't write phone numbers like that. So if you go down into the bottom right in property view down here, and if we actually just get rid of the country code, what we can do is rerun this. So we can see that we have the area code and uh, and the full number still available. We got rid of the country code that has the plus one in it. So now let's try running it again. Two URLs and we'll see if it'll come back with any results. And it didn't. So we see down here uh, there was nothing. There was no results. But there was another transform to website that I always run as well just to be sure. And now we actually see we got a hit. So we've expanded this graph a little bit more and we can see companions reviews, what she will do.com, escort reviews. So these are all pretty relevant terms um, when it comes to doing these investigations. And we can now begin to dig into each one of these websites. For example, you can right click on one of these and you can go down here and you can say Google me and this or open all URLs or Wikipedia me. And what that's going to do is fire open your browser, which hopefully you have Hunchly still running and you can go off and continue investigating um, to maybe review some of the the escort sites that are connected to it or potentially anywhere else. We can also see that we've had a connection to toronto.backpage.com. And of course, this was originally found in Vancouver. So we see that this particular individual might indeed be traveling uh, across the country providing services. So this has been a very quick high level overview of how you can use the evidence collection capabilities and the history tracking of Hunchly to provide you a nice data set to then feed into another open source intelligence tool, which is Maltigo, to continue your investigation, to expand on it and to do some uh, automation to do some of this intelligence gathering. But now, of course, you have the ability to switch back, um, of course, to review some of these websites and collect additional evidence and build an even larger case file. If you have any questions about any of this, please don't hesitate to email me, justin at inspectorhunchley.com. And of course, you can grab your copy of Hunchley if you don't have it already from HTTPS www.hunch.ly. Thank you for your time.